Hey everyone, this is the second video in my 10 part series where I talk about the courses that I took while completing Georgia Tech's online Masters of Science in Computer Science program. Today I'm going to be talking about the second class that I took in the program back in the spring 2022 semester, which was Computer Networks. In this video, I'm going to go over the content of the course, the logistics of how the course is administered, some pros and cons of the course, as well as who I'd recommend this course to. So with regards to the content of the course, it's definitely in a survey style, so you touch on a lot of different topics in modern day computer networks. You look at things like the seven layer OSI model, some common protocols used in the internet today. You look at software defined networks. You look at domain routing and some algorithms that are used in it. You look at content delivery networks and BGP and a few other topics as well. As for the structure of the course, it has pre-recorded lectures that are accompanied by notes, which you can read instead. There are also weekly quizzes, which cover topics related to the lecture material. There are two exams, which are very similar in style and format to the quizzes, as well as four projects. When I took the class, the first two projects were related to algorithms covered in the lectures. The first was spanning tree protocol. The second was distance vector. In the third project, we configured a software defined network and then analyzed network traffic that went through it using Wireshark. And in the fourth one, we looked at BGP data and we analyzed it using a Python library. So as for pros of the class, I would say that it does give a good overview of modern computer networks topics. I definitely learned more than if I were to like self-learn the topic and it was really useful in my day job. I also liked how the quizzes and exams were both in a very similar style, so it made preparing for the exams really straightforward. And I also really liked the first two projects where we implemented the two different algorithms. As for cons, the first big one is that the lectures are super dry and boring. The lectures consist of the lecturer just speaking right at the camera in a monotone voice with a few images overlaid. And this was in stark contrast to the course I reviewed last week, AI for Robotics, where I felt like the material was presented in a super engaging way. In fact, I would say that these were probably the worst lectures of any class that I took in OMSCS. This is a bit of a shame because computer networks is a super interesting field and it underpins a lot of modern day technologies like the internet. And I just feel like it could have been presented in a much more engaging way. I would also say that the exams were definitely in sort of like a more trivia style. So less about problem solving and applying concepts used in the class and more so just parroting back some material that you had memorized before taking the test. Finally, I liked the first two projects, but I definitely did not like the third and fourth project as much. They felt like a lot of configuration and just time spent sifting through data. And they definitely were not as fun as the first two projects or the projects that I took in Air for Robotics for that matter. So who would I recommend this class to? I could recommend this class to someone who's never taken a networking class before. I hadn't taken one and I did find that I learned a lot about computer networks and I still apply a lot of what I learned in class in my job to this day. Computer networks is super fundamental to a lot of modern computer science topics, so it's definitely a useful class to take. This is also one of the easiest classes in the computing system specialization. So if you wanted to take a class that counted toward this specialization and you had time in the summer, or maybe you wanted to pair a class with a harder course, I could also recommend this class. But I would say if you don't fall into one of these two camps, um, you could probably just skip it. There's definitely a lot of material on computer networks available online. And I would say that the way that this class is presented is definitely not the most engaging. So that's my review of computer networks. In my next video, I'll review the third course that I took in OMSCS, which was Graduate Intro to Operating Systems. So I'll see you then.